This is Chad and Dalton here at Coyote Classics, and behind us is a badass 1970s Chevelle. This is a neat car, Dalton. That I drove it this morning, I was really impressed with it. Kind of seemed like it had 373 gears, maybe 411s, but uh, uh, it's got fuel injection system on it, the EFI stereo system so I mean it's got it the horn works wipers work I mean it's got a lot of cool bones to it so look at that exhaust on that 442 you can kind of just see it down there that's huge pipes yeah it's a freaking great that 442 is amazing yeah. excited to drive that this thing ain't no slouch either though is it no way no this thing's pretty awesome me and Michael took both of these cars for a drive this morning just getting ready to check in uh, as far as the fuel injected system, it still needs a little, you know, learning. Mm -hmm. um, it's yep. in that learn stage, but uh, this thing just completely, it's got positive. It just roasted the tires earlier. That's awesome. It so it's all about. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice, ain't it? That's badass. like a 70 Chevelle should. Great sound, great power. Pretty cool car. You know, the biggest thing is not just that it's, you know, black and white. The biggest thing is it puts a smile on your face, man. That's what it's all about. We're going to take this thing out and just see what this bait bad boy's got from a dead stop. And the cool part about this one, Dalton, it's not a trailer queen. It's not one that a guy's got $125,000, $150,000 in that you're scared to death to smoke the tires a little bit. Yeah. You know, that's what these things are made for. And, uh, keep the RPMs down and just let it eat. Sounds good. Let's do it. This is a super sharp looking car. You might have seen it last week in, in our Wednesday video where Chad and I went and took this thing for a test drive. Um, turned out great after we buffed it out, got it all cleaned up. It looks fantastic. Yeah, we mentioned in the, in the video we were gonna go ahead and do that rosewood steering wheel. Just look how different that looks, getting that ugly grant off of there and, and putting the period correct beautiful steering wheel on it. Um, beautiful interior on it and it's just a great look. And the cool part about this, like I mentioned on the drive video on our last Wednesday video, it's a gorgeous car, but it's not a trailer queen. It's a driver. So it's a local car show quality car. It's got some little chips and some little imperfections, but the overall appearance is, like you said, Dalton, badass. And the fun thing too with the episodes that we do every Wednesday, you get to see these cars as they come in before we touch them, you know, and then you get to see the finished product when we do our uh, you know, reviews on them. Under the hood, what else but a big black? Yeah. You know, it's perfect. Fuel injected, easy EFI system on it. Um, it's got power steering, front disc brakes, a big aluminum radiator, really long aluminum radiator, real dual electric fans. And this thing has power. I mean, yeah. it just freaking scoots. Um, as far as the quality, here's what I'm talking about. Like, if we look at the top of the, you know, this wasn't all taken apart, sandblasted, painted. You know, inner fenders are good, but not perfect. Same thing on the bottom of the hood. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. a nice, nice driver. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's got a hell of a stand, so great look. 70 being the best year of the Chevelle, and I love the tuxedo black with the white stripes. Front bumper and grill look awesome. Nice gap from front to back, nice and even here. Um, as we look around, it's got some little dirt in the paint. It's little spots right here. Just some little imperfections here and there on it. You're standing back five, six foot. It looks like an absolute, like right here, I'm back three foot. And you can't see any of it. It looks like an absolute show car, award-winning show car. But you get up close, there is some little imperfections. But like we talked about last week when we drove it, that's what makes this thing really fun. You can go out and you can squeal tires, have fun with it, you know, drive it and enjoy it because it's not a trailer queen. You know, it's a fantastic local car show quality car, but yet you can still have a lot of fun with it. Exactly. Back of the hood lines up good here. A 
couple little imperfections right here. A couple little hairline cracks, one in here, one there. After we got it buffed out, I mean, you can still see, you can see a reflection all in it. Um, got a couple little spots there as well. Yeah, really straight up and down the sides too for a black car. Um, you know, it's important to have a straight body, this one does. Corner of the doors had just a little bit of work in it. Door panel shows just a little wear here. Other than that, the door panel is in great shape. <clears throat> These aren't very expensive. The armrest pad's nice, but the base is the original. So a guy could probably replace that. That's got a little checking in it. Uh, the cord around the uh, seats, I think we went ahead and did that new. Yeah, that's all really nice. Seat backs are in great shape. Paint on the door jam looks good as we look through here. It's got a nice shine as well. Uh, does not have a factory tack. It has the SS gauges, but factory clock. Um, AM, FM, uh, digital radio. There's your fuel injected system. Tachometer up here. It's got an aftermarket gas gauge and that works. Oil pressure and water temp, all that work. Factory uh, uh, dual gate shifter. Headliner is excellent. Dome lights, nice. Got speakers in the back. Um, back seats, excellent. Matches the front perfectly. Door panels are nice. Really nice interior. Yeah, door shuts good. You want to grab the keys? We'll look in the trunk, D. Yep. As we look up and down the side, like I said, like Dalton said, it is black and it is straight. So, again, some little specks here in the paint up close. Some little dirt specks there. Tiny little hairline crack in the paint there. Other than that, looks really good. Nice mat in this trunk. Nice so nice side mat, side and they dyno matted all of it too, which is fine. You know, it makes it just a little bit quieter. Again. Yeah, and it really was. It's got some subwoofers in the trunk, nicely done. Yeah, I like how they do that. That's sharp. Yeah, bottom of the trunk wood paint looks good. New back bumper, new front bumper. A couple little chips around the keyhole there. Yeah, the clear coat kind of right in here. Love the dual exhaust too. It's got the nice uh, oval tips there. This thing is just super sharp. I love the choice of wheels too. It's got a good stance. Yeah, really good stance. So again, we sell some really high-end cars. We sell some beautiful drivers and we sell some, uh, just some nice drivers. This is kind of in that beautiful driver stage, yeah. right? This is my kind of car where I can still have fun with it. It's got, you know, the sounds as well. It's got the big motor. Fuel injected. I mean, it's yeah. really I mean, uh, driver friendly and a lot of fun to squeal the tires and have some fun. When you buy a classic car, at least when I, you know, were to buy a classic car, I will, I'm, I'm buying it because I love that that feeling. I feel like a badass when I'm driving something that looks like this, sounds like this, um, and this one definitely gives you that, you know, that feeling. Definitely. Again, paint in the jams looks good. Corner of the door here is really in nice shape. Rubbers are replaced. We did do those as well. So we've got new rubbers. Um, I did put in new kick panels too, and they're not cheap. Um, but I like the look of the new ones with all the new chrome on them. The other ones were scuffed up, just didn't look that great. So we spent the 200 and some bucks and, and went ahead and did that. And that's, and with the $400 steering wheel. So we add a lot of value to these cars before we ever market them. Yeah, this is a sweet Chevelle. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.